What's up? It's your boy Remus and we're back on the Superior Code channel, which is us becoming the superior versions of ourselves. And the topic of today's video is the power of unity. And it's interesting because in, in the day and age that we're living now, everyone wants to do it by themselves. Everyone wants to just be, the, you know, Mr. or Miss Independent. Everyone wants to be a lone wolf. Everyone wants uh, to satisfy their ego by knowing that they don't need anyone else. But I'll tell you something, right? We're going to start with this. Did you know humans are social pack animals? And there is no social pack animal on the planet who is better off by themselves as opposed to if they find a pack tribe or a group or a pride, you know, to do their stuff with, right? Now, I was thinking about this, and you can let me know what you think. But I think it's interesting, right, that when we think of the greatest conquerors that this world have, has ever known, Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, or whoever, um, immediately after they conquered whatever they conquered, their, what they conquered, their conquest started to drift down, started to go down, right? And they couldn't keep it together, even when they was trying to give it to to whoever. Like Genghis Khan tried to give it to his sons. They bickered, fell out until his grandson brought a bit of stability. Um, but then I think about what the European colonizers did. And obviously they colonized a lot of places around the world. And there's not really a face to it. Like, you see how you think of Alexander the Great, he conquered, you know, Persia or whatever it is. We can say that. And Genghis Khan, we can talk about him and what he conquered. And then the others, we can talk about the specific places that they conquered. But it's like there's a specific face to it. You know, Julius Caesar went here with, to the Gauls and all of that stuff. But then when we think about the conquest of Africa, certain places in um, Asia and all of that stuff, you don't really think of... A Julius Caesar for it. You just think of the Europeans. And I, f I was thinking, um, it's interesting that it seems like this is not really as talked about as like the fact that the reason why there is no specific person to speak about in regards to their colonizing is because it was different groups. Now, this is obviously could be a sore subject for some people and a bad thing or whatever, but I actually see that there's the use of unity from those people, which still has such a stronghold hold even today, where over the last couple of decades and stuff, they had to, you know, give independence back to people. But really, um, what helped them to do such a conquest and have it established for such a long time was unity. It was actually unity between the different people and the different uh, colonels and commanders and stuff and the different countries as well not just you know England or one figure in England but England and then Belgium and then France and all of the European colonizers together doing it in unison now of course what they did it for you could argue is not a good thing however there's a lesson there that we're stronger together than apart and when you try to do it once you might get all of the glory but then the um, foundations of that conquest aren't as strong as when it's based on unity. Now, it doesn't mean that there shouldn't be a leader and stuff like that. But I just think it's so interesting how humans of this day and age take so much pride in wanting to do it by themselves. And I'm not, and this is coming from a person who is extremely independent, by the way. But I see the power of unity. And I know that if I can meet that person, meet that person, meet that person, like-minded people, and we have the same goals, we can get more done and we can have more of an impact on the world than just if we try to keep it apart. So for that reason, I'm always, like, my, one of my favorite words actually is unity. You know, I'm always thinking togetherness, uh, family bonds, or even, you know, when a friend has deep bonds with you, you can even consider them family, but there has to be some bonding there has to be some web that's the creation of a network and it's the network that gets things going you can't just expect to do everything by yourself so if there's lessons we can take from what people have done for bad hey let's take it and then we, let's use it for good do you get what i'm saying so 
Know this, that as a social pack animal, the power of the pack is to your advantage. And even if you can be so independent, not need anyone else and get it done, you'll tire yourself out in the process doing it. So there really is no win to it anyway. So with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Shimson.